winter on a magic carpet ride. A whole new world, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no, or where to go. The same we're only dreaming. I told you life was gonna be this way. Jerry soloed on his saxophone. 
Many guys in this class chose to be Juliet rather than Romeo for their Shakespeare project videos. <laughs> Brian and Aaron played tennis. Josiah modified his uniform. <laughs> all four years. Alicia joined the dance club, and soon Kim, Graham, and Valerie did as well. And in a way, they managed to get you to join too. This class seems like one big dance club. When Gloria dances, her smile is absolutely infectious. Esther played a hairy gorilla in a fall play. The ball hockey team was formed, started strong, and finished strong with members from this class. Mr. Dreger called Hillary Hilaire. Natanya, Athena, Emily, Florence, and more became a unified volleyball team over the years. By sophomore year, some of you discovered deodorant. Some of you still haven't. <laughs> Florence Chen slept through class. Sarah Mee played with her hair, or was it that she ate her hair? <laughs> Winnie smiled every time a person would say, Gabriel. <laughs> Leonard farted loudly during a Midsummer Night's Dream. <laughs> and Jordan terrified us with his costume and makeup during that show. The show choir performed Godspell and Phantom. Joni, Esther, and Candace were baptized in the River Jordan in Israel. A whole bunch of you were on the swim team. Brian won the ICS award. Carmen did too. Rachel developed beautiful bonsai buddy relationships. Tiffany accompanied on the piano for multiple choir concerts. Janice and Jason were inducted into the NHS. In your junior year, a few wailed over not being able to shop at Forever 21 in Tokyo. Jason tore his ACL. William barely made it through dissections. Flo Flo had her first shopping experience with friends. <laughs> Many of you wore black in solidarity as you protested the loss of some of your longtime classmates. We looped the loop in Bye Bye Birdie. The National Honor Society skit was based on Inception. We sold hundreds of pizza slices and hot dogs at Fall Fair. Julia and many others organized an Alice in Wonderland Junior Senior Banquet. Sharon, Diana, and Melissa worked hard on the senior tribute lip dub that turned out to be a memorable moment for all of us. Mitchell features prominently in the tribute video because of his willingness to wear a tight-fitting leotard. Um, Joni won an award in the art show almost every year. Justice, Cian, Adelaide, Janelle, and, and Ivan attended Vida Nueva. If I remember correctly, the green team won every event on every sports day. Um, Janelle and Janice plugged away on pages of the yearbook. Shannon got up incredibly early many, many mornings and swam miles. Devin almost killed a few of us off throughout the years with all of his rugby and football tossing on the podium. <laughs> Shizuka helped with makeup for four or five drama productions. Georgia molded clay into teapots and bowls. On Wednesday mornings, many of you led us from a bleary-eyed state of exhaustion to singing our hearts out to Jesus. We said goodbyes to Kayla, Gabriel, Matthew, Michael, Stephanie, Franny, Christine, Ernie, Mark, and many more. In your senior year, Stephen arrived with his haircut and camera. Luke returned, which everyone was happy about, except maybe our salutatorian. Um, <laughs> Another, we hiked through Hill and Valley in the heat. We painted cabins the next year, and this year we watched a chick flick. I think Saba played a sport almost every season of every year of her high school career. James walked the hallways with a guitar. Eunice was lost or got lost. <laughs> John Chen attempted cooking. Ivan joined Create Club. <laughs> on the runway of trash fashion. A ukulele craze swept the sixth floor. Roman provided drama and speech with lots of extra laughs. Calvin proved to be the more in most intelligent of all of the males in this class when he volunteered to manage the U-20 girls basketball. <laughs> Alicia wept over having to paint a bug. 
Kimberly dyed her hair. You learned to shuffle. Nick received four golds in a row for ball hockey. William forgot about his AP history exam. <laughs> Ben does not exist. <laughs> Beatrice came to school dressed as an iceberg and an egg. Wow! <laughs> Tina and Sarah Fung organized a blood drive. Candace demonstrated her strength and gymnastic ability at the Renaissance banquet. Lawrence made a jaw-dropping recovery after a fall in Peter Pan. <laughs> Abby poked her team members in the nose while in India. While John Wong was playing soccer with the kids, Josh picked up battle scars and blisters in the jungles of Fiji. Karis constructed a goodbye gift for every person in her advisory. Most of you spoke more Cantonese in school than you were supposed to. <laughs> and Izzy, who has such a gentle spirit, cried on the day of the graduation rehearsal. And today is Lawrence Rose's birthday. Yay. Happy birthday, Lawrence. <laughs>
Stir up your heart. Who is sick today? What country is in turmoil? How am I going to do with the upcoming event that I'm so nervous about? Use songs of worship and verses to speak to him about the future. I don't know how many times I've stood in chapel on a Wednesday and my, head, my heart and my mind were not ready to worship God that day. So I used the words of the praise songs to move my heart to pray for one of my advisory students' future. Tina's, Hillary's, Jordan's, Tiffany's, Candace's, Esther's, Lauren's, Ivan's, Sharon's, and Diana's. Every time we sing, the same, every year we sing the same blessing at graduation. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Today when this song is sung, I would love it if we could worship the Lord with these words. Parents and teachers, pray over these students present and their future. Class of 2012, use these words to look over your past four years and be grateful. Use these words to celebrate and praise him today. Use these words to pray over your future. Or use the words of this blessing to look around at the friends, the family, the classmates, and the community that you love and pray for our futures. Class of 2012, continue to love the Lord with all of your heart, your mind, your soul, and strength. Strive to have an attitude of gratitude. We are so grateful for you today and everything that you've given us. Blessings.